Hello, I'm Terry Shook of Shook Kelly. I'm standing in the midst of Bergdale Village, a mixed-use project we designed over 10 years ago. As you can see, it is a glorious Saturday, and people are all about, shopping, dining, and simply enjoying the street life, or taking in the day from their second floor apartment deck. When Bergdale Village opened 10 years ago, the CBS Morning News guy said, Lisa Birnbach found the perfect place for those who don't want to get in a car to go out. And the developer said, We're leasing our residential units about as fast as we can build them. And the resident said, I wanted to live on Main Street. And that's basically what this reminds you of, is a little small town. And the worker said, It is nice to walk to work. Since then, Burkdale has been a roaring success. But as these people enjoy their day, little do they know that there is a crisis looming in America. In the wake of the Great Recession, bankers, capital partners, and yes, even developers that may want to build such places have decided that they, well, are not worth the risk. And we are here today to break the news to all of these people who love this place. No more Burkdale Villages. Well, what would you say if I told you that uh, some of the bankers of the world and the investors uh, don't believe in things like Burkdale Village and not supporting any more of them? I'd, I'd call you a liar because I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> if anyone doesn't want to support something like Burkdale, it's it's foolish. It's uh, it's probably the best thing about this town. So maybe I'll invest in it. So you guys don't make the money, and I will, because this is I think the you know the way of the future. It seems to be a good, decent uh, development, and uh, you know I see a lot of these making uh, money going forward. I, I know that you could take my house and move it a couple miles down the road another way, and. It would probably be worth a hundred some thousand dollars less than it is just because it's located right next to this. It's a nice place for people to come, relax, and I think it'll bring a, a lot to whatever community that surrounds it as well. I have an office uh, right here. Uh, we still, my brother and I started a company. All of our employees live within live within the community. We have a lot of people that come in from out of town, um, and they and they love this. They love the scene here. They love the center of life that Burkdale is for the community. I don't think you get a sense of community with strip malls, and I was looking for community. What is Burkdale Village? It is over 300,000 square feet of retail, 54,000 square feet of office space, and 320 apartments built on 52 acres. If this amount of development had been built in a suburban manner, over 110 acres of land would have been consumed. Burkdale has public streets and mid-block parking, with small private parking decks for those who live here. Burkdale was intended to feature only six restaurants, now it boasts 14, and the parking still works. Most importantly, the apartments practically lease themselves, and the retail is leased in the high 90% range at rents that rival the nearest mall. And the reason, in large part, is that Burkdale Village is not a standalone development. It is directly connected to a traditional neighborhood development and adjacent to a conventional golf course community. People do actually walk to Burkdale, leaving the car at home. Yes, many people love Burkdale Village and support it with their time and their wallets. We love it. I love that there's so many things to do. You can come for the day and eat a meal, shop, go see a movie. Oh, I like the shopping best about Burkdale. You that? Yep. I um, like that we can come, grab a bite to eat, and then stop and shop. <laughs> we always spend money here. <laughs> I think every girl should have <laughs> sure, a lot of so-called lifestyle centers were built in the last decade that failed miserably. Wrong place, wrong concept, and no market was often the problem. However, when properly conceived, leased, designed, and managed, people will flock to them and your bottom line will be rewarded. After all, it's not about a lifestyle, it's about life. This is the concept. People like to live where they shop. I had that community type feel. Um, there's a lot of people walking around. There's a lot of people doing things. There's always activity. Being over here is a totally different environment. You know, coming from a mall, a kiosk at that. You know, people come out here and you know they want to purchase. You know, there's people that come to eat. There's people that just come 
to like enjoy the weather outside and they come in here as well. So that helps with attracting the customers as well. I can't believe that there aren't more Burgdale Villages around, I'll be honest with you. I mean, it's such a unique concept with the residential on top of the retail. I, I mean, it's, I love it. And so do the people that are here, I tell you. Okay, bankers and developers, the people at Bergdale have spoken. Let's build more of these type places all across America. All the kids in America should get a Bergdale village. <laughs>